Hey, welcome back. Back to our little island of Minecraft learning. Now you might be wondering, how did I get this special skin, this, this special look to this guy? He doesn't look like the default guy. I've got the blue shoes and I've got what looks like a submarine with a periscope and sort of a smiley face on my shirt. Uh, we call that Happy Sub. It's a little character that I do f with the kids and they really like it. So anyway, this is my skin and I thought I would show you how to do that now. So if you look at the address up here, it is minecraftskins.com. And that's this site here, the skin decks. Uh, be careful while searching that. There are some other sites that are similar, but not of a, uh, shall we say, family friendly nature. Just so you know, <laughs> that's a little tip to stay away from those. But uh, go to minecraftskins.com and you should be safe. And so you can see I've got the daily top skins here. I click top and you can see all the top ones today. There's all kinds of different ones. There's Popcorn Girl and Mario Girl and there's uh, Ice Panda Boy. All kinds of crazy ones. Here's Iron Man down here. Let's go take a look at that one. So these are all skins that you can kind of take a look at and preview. And you can actually do several things with them. You can see the front and back. Uh, you can see here that it's a four pixel arm or the Steve model. Remember we mentioned there's a Steve version and an Alex version, which is the three pixel arm model. So that's the newer one, the Alex model. So Steve is what most of these are in because these are older skins usually. And so you can take a look and you can actually click different environments here to kind of see how your character would look in Minecraft in different places, just to kind of give you a feel for it. There you go, just some kind of different scenes. So that's kind of neat. You can kind of get a feel for how that character is going to look in Minecraft. The other options you have are on the right-hand side here. You can upload to Minecraft, which if you're already signed into your profile, will allow you to just simply upload this skin, and it will become your skin as you uh, go to Minecraft.net. It'll just upload it for you. And then you can do the download, which will download a picture file for you that you can then upload to your minecraft.net profile like we talked about before. Uh, so that's an option as well. And I'm not really sure what Add to Wardrobe does. And that might be like uh, just adding a bunch of skins to your personal account on this site. I don't really want an account necessarily. So I don't usually do that one. But um, also you can edit the skin. So you can actually click this. And it will load up the skin you were just looking at in like a Microsoft Paint kind of interface. So you can, you know, change colors and you can do a bunch of things, erase and all kinds of stuff. So you can actually edit this skin and you can turn it around in 3D by left clicking and just moving your mouse. You can see the top of the head and the feet and just see the whole thing. So you get a really good idea of what your skin's going to look like. Oh, now I'm coloring him. Hold on, now I can undo that. There we go. So you can just get a good idea of what's going on. Uh, this skin looks pretty cool. People have done some work with like the colors and the gradients to make it look really spiffy. So uh, in this editor, you can even turn off different parts to make sure that while your arms move, they look correct as far as the character model goes. And you can kind of see the top of the shoulders to make sure like if your cape is there. If you have a cape, then you can see how your cape works, stuff like that. So it's a little morbid to take your character apart piece by piece, but it helps to uh, get the right colors and the right design that you want, especially if uh, you have a, a student or a kid in your house that wants it to look absolutely perfect, you know. So that really helps uh, knowing that you can do that. So anyway, and you have the same options here, upload. Uh, download to computer and upload from computer. So you can actually edit your own skin that you have on your computer if you've made one before and you can continue editing. So that's really nice, a nice feature of the skin decks. The other place to go, uh, which is actually more popular with my kids, is um, Need Cool Shoes. You just type that into Google and there you go, needcoolshoes.com. And if you click on that, you will get the same kind of thing as we just saw. This is an editor. So let's see, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna import my actual skin in Minecraft because I have a special skin already applied. 
it's going to go grab my skin out of my account. And it, of course, has all kinds of other stuff on me already. I don't know what that's doing there or why we can't get rid of it. Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. We just hit click trash. Okay. All right, so there's my skin in Minecraft. I have my blue shoes and all that, so that's very cool. And I believe this is the tool that I use to actually make my skin in Minecraft. So that's very cool. And when you're done, you can always, I think that's export, import. Let's see, is there a... Okay, I think so this one you just export your skin. You can change your Minecraft skin, and what that will do is if you're already signed in to Minecraft, let's pull this down here. Okay, so you can log into your Minecraft account here, and I'm not going to do that right now, but then you click Profile, and then you can change your skin as we saw in the previous video. So that's all you do. You just have your skin downloaded, download to computer, or you can just change it directly from here. So.